Welcome to Kitesurf College. Today I'm just going to take you on a little trip to my home spot. That's Nordhook Beach, which is about a kilometer from my house. It's going to be cold there today, so first I'm going to chuck on my wetsuit and I'm going to just take along my 360 camera for the whole thing and let's see what it's like. Okay. So here we are, Nord Hook Beach. It's not very windy, so I've taken a 12 meter Rebel, would maybe have taken a 15, but it's pretty gusty at this end of the beach beside the mountain. There's no one around, so I'm going to have to self-launch this time. I've checked my lines and bridles very carefully. It's not too windy for the kite, and I've got one hand ready to eject the chicken loop if needed, so it should be fine to self-launch. Also, I've cleared away all shells and sharp objects that the kite might slide over, so the kite shouldn't get scratched as I do this. Okay, that went smoothly enough. To check I didn't get any tangles in my bridles during that self-launch, I pop the kite at 12 and then bring in the center of the bar. If the kite doesn't steer as I do this, then it's balanced and there's no tangles. Looks good. Because it's a bit gusty here, I'm keeping the kite moving and keeping a bit of line tension. This will prevent the kite from front stalling until I get to cleaner wind. The wind should get cleaner as I move south away from the mountain. Before I start, I'm giving the bar a bit of a dip to clean off any sand. That will make sure there's no sand on the trim mechanism and that should keep this bar going for years. You can't tell in wide angle, but there's a big swell here and some powerful white water. In fact, this makes so many bubbles it actually gets harder to ride on. If you slow down a bit, you'll sink far quicker in this kind of water than you would normally. So, in these conditions, you need to try and keep your speed up as you ride. If you pop over a wave, you need to try to launch and land, keeping some speed. To search for better conditions, I'm now heading south a few kilometers down the beach towards the shipwreck. Let's get out here and have a look. When there's a big swell and the tide is high, waves easily flow over the top of this beach here. You can see there's a little pool that's being created. Let's go inland a bit more and go past the wreck of the Kakapo steamship. There's a lot of shipwrecks around here due to the harsh conditions. Just behind the shipwreck, you can see the waves have also made a nice lagoon. With the light wind I've got here, the lagoon will be much nicer to kite on. It's a bit shallow for safety. You will definitely hit the bottom if you crash. So I'm not going to try anything risky for my experience level.
Unfortunately, the sun's almost down and it's a long return journey. So that was just a short one on the lagoon. Thanks for coming along and thanks for supporting my channel.